Hi, my name is Dan Sutherland. I'm going to demonstrate the user interface of the Flash Operator Panel. Uh, to start with, we'll uh, just log into the interface. Now, um, you log in with your um, extension that's allocated to you on the phone system. Uh, in my case, it's extension number 1003 and my allocated password for it. Just log in there. Put that full screen as well. Now, you see, when you, uh, when you log in, you get a live uh, view of what's happening on, on the phone system. You can see all the extensions that are available for UTC are uh, set um, by any um, admin users. Um, so you see here, I, I can actually view um, all users on the on the phone system. Uh, those extensions that are in green are currently logged in. So um, uh, myself here. Um, I'll also just add that um, the person logging in, they always appear as the uh, uh, top left uh, tile. So myself, James, Rich, Greg, Marie, etc. are all uh, logged in in green. Um, and uh, down the right hand side of the page, you've got any any queues, any, any inbound con queues that are set up on the phone system. In this case, we've got a support queue, sales queue, another queue for uh, Sunday support, and also um, accounts on there as well. Um, along the top of the page, you've got all the options available to you. Um, shall run through. Um, in more detail in a second, but uh, overview we've got uh, just make, making a call, dialing, uh, call transfers, uh, can transfer straight to a mailbox, transfer to mobile, uh, pick up uh, uh, another phone that's been ringing. You've got um, a listen function on listening on other people's calls, and uh, further to that, you can listen in and and whisper, where you can uh, actually whisper to your colleague, but not to the end user on the other end of the call, and also hang up uh, calls as well as um, turning on and off call recording on a, give, on a given call. Um, so um, first off, let's um, uh, just demonstrate what happens when an inbound call comes in. So uh, on my desk, I've got two phones here. So um, I'm going to be making a call from extension 3003, and I'm just going to be dialing my extension, which is 1003. So let's start now. You'll see on there a couple of things have happened. I'll just answer the call to stop the ringing. Uh, you'll have seen there's a call pop up in the bottom right of the screen to indicate an inbound call, and it does an automatic lookup in the inbuilt directory so it knows that extension 3003 is actually called down iPhone. I use that extension from working remotely on, a, on an app on my iPhone. Um, so on 3003, you'll see uh, an arrow um, denoting that an outbound call has been made in the call duration. And the demo in this instance is for an inbound call. So you see in my extension 1003, you've got an icon of an inbound call and it says where it's come from. In this case, an extension number and the name that it's picked up from the internal directory. If it was from a, a remote number, uh, my, my my actual mobile number, for example, it would display my mobile number on there. Um, now the call is in progress. You can see the timer is um, um, uh, clocking up there. Um, what I'll just do now is um, um, just, just, just demonstrate hanging up the call. So everything is handled from the interface. So just get rid of that. Select the call. Just hang up. Are you sure? Yes, I am, definitely. So, and I can see from my phone here on my desk that the call is, uh, is hung up. Okay, um, to make an outbound call, um, simply in the dial field at the top of the screen, simply enter in the number you want to dial. So I'll, I'll dial back to 3003 again, and I'll just press enter on my keyboard. That now has made my phone ring. It won't dial out until I pick up the handset, which I'll do now. That has then initiated the outbound call. So you see it, it, it's flashing on 3003 to indicate it's ringing. I'll pick that up and you'll see the call is completed. So once again, I'll just uh, hang up the call. Select my extension and then hang up the call. Um, okay, 
on my extension, I can set my um, status to be um, different options. Um, so options are available are put myself as available on the system. Do not disturb out to lunch, break, meeting, and other. Um, all of which basically um, stop your phone from ringing. So if I put myself onto onto a break, you see the symbol here has has changed. Now anyone else logged into the FOP with their own user extensions will see that I'm I'm busy. So if I call myself, uh, dial one double three, I should get my uh, voicemail message, which it does it goes through to voicemail. Now I'll leave a message. Okay, a uh, test voicemail message. Thank you. Okay, now you see straight away the envelope is, is appeared, denoting I've got one new voicemail um, there, um, on the system. Now I'll just uh, change my status back to available again, so I can receive calls. And you see the, the little symbol has, uh, has changed. Um, other options are available. Um, if you click on the little circle in the top left, um, you can pause and unpause your um, extension as well as adding yourself and removing yourself from various support queues that you have access to do so. Now in any queue you could be set up as a static agent in which case adding and removing um, won't, won't make any difference. Uh, it still appears there but it physically won't, won't make any changes. Or you can be configured as a dynamic agent. So for this example I've made sure that I am a dynamic agent in the support queue. So you see on the right hand side my extension 1003 Dan on the right hand side here is in the support queue. So if I simply click this icon, then remove from support, I will then be taken away from the support queue. So if the inbound call comes into support, my extension will no longer ring because I'm not in that in that group anymore. Um, to change the, the view, if I click on the support queue, um, it then changes the main view to show only the extensions that are currently um, in that queue. Now my extension isn't in the queue, but because I'm logged in as mine, that's why I'm still showing on there. Let's um, add myself back into support. And I'll click on that again to, to show all the other queues down the right hand side. Now what I'll do now is um, I'll actually phone the main, um, the main support queue. And then you'll see all phones ring at the same time. So it's ringing now. So that's through to the welcome message on our queue. Once the phones actually start ringing, you'll see all extensions all, all flash. There you go. The system is going crazy, showing all the phones ringing. So I'll just answer from my phone. You'll see the other phones have stopped ringing, but mine has has answered as as we saw before. Um, uh, right, so I'll, uh, I'll now demonstrate a uh, call transfer. So I'll ask my colleague James to, uh, to dial my extension and I'll uh, uh, transfer the call. So you see the inbound call coming in from James if I answer that, that call. We've got the live call in progress. Uh, to transfer, I just select the extension I'm going to transfer to. In this case, I'll be transferring to extension 3003. I then simply press the transfer key in the top of the screen. Okay, my phone is, is disconnected and extension 3003 is ringing. I'll pick up and you'll see that um, I'm now talking to, to James uh, from the transfer to call. Just hang up that call. Um, okay, um, another option available on the system that uh, is very useful from here um, is the the, the listen and whisper function. Um, so again, while I ask my colleague uh, James to uh, to call into me on extension one double o three. Sorry, actually, actually dial into one three double o three if you could. Okay, then got that call in in progress um, between uh, James and extension three double o three. If I um. Um, select either one of those extensions and then click on the, the listen key at the top. Because I'm logged in as 1W3, as stated earlier, my phone has now started ringing. If I pick up that handset, 
um, I can now hear the conversation happening between James and Dan iPhone, or extension 1001 and 3003. So if they're, if they're speaking on that call, I, um, I, I shall be able to hear them. Now, they won't be able to hear me because I've only clicked on the listen function. So I'm going to hang, hang that up. And if I hang up that, that initial call, now exactly the same happens if I click on the listen and whisper option, except if I, um, I will also be able to um, take part in the call, but I'll only be able to uh, to, to whisper uh, to my to my colleague on the same phone system. Now, um, if it's a internal call, extension to extension, then both both parties will actually be able to to hear me. Um, going through this whole demonstration, um, you'll have heard a few um, a few sounds going on. Now you can actually turn those off. You see in the preferences window, you can turn off uh, sounds for, for the chat option, which actually is included in this, this license that I'm demonstrating uh, to you. But um, in the extended license, there's also a, um, a chat function um, uh, where you can um, do an online chat, much like the old uh, MSN Messenger, where you can chat to, to colleagues all, all from within the same interface. And there's also the audio for if a call comes in, a cue sound and also a ringing sound. Um, uh, different language options here as well. I've gone for the detailed view. Um, if I change it to um, summary, um, and also I had it on dynamic line display. So um, if a call comes in, um, it'll primarily be on the summary view, but when there's more information, it dynamically expands the view and you can see more, more information there. So there is some, some fine tuning that you can do on the system. Um, it also has its own built-in address book um, as well, or a phone book. If I click on here, um, it then uh, expands the option. Now, um, um, on this demo system, there's there's no one actually inserted on here yet. So if I add a new entry, um, I'll put in uh, uh, Dan Test. Just completes it's a first name. You can put in company and uh, other phone numbers and so on. So I'll add in. Uh, 3003, which we're using for the demonstration purposes. Private no, so it's available for everybody. Click on save. So I've now got an entry on here. Now for a complete example, I'll just come out of the phone book, log back in again. Now it's on there. If I uh, click on the phone number, we've then got the we've then got the click to dial option working. So once I clicked on it, my phone started ringing. Pick up my handset. And the outbound call has been initiated to 3003. Of course, that could be any phone number, any external geo number or, or, or mobile phone number. Um, okay, that's about it on the uh, on the FOP, the flash operator panel. Uh, thank you for listening and, and for watching. And um, we'll uh, talk again soon. Thank you.